Mark chapter 5. No one could bind him, not even with chains. Chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken to pieces. Neither could anyone tame him. This man had a legion of demons inside of him. Night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying out and cutting himself with stones. He basically was insane, out of his mind. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? In God's name, don't torture me. For Jesus has said to him, Come out of this man, you in pure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. A large herd of pigs was feeding on a nearby hillside. The demons begged Jesus, send us amongst the pigs, allow us to go into them. He gave them permission. And then pure spirits came out and went into the pigs. The herd, about 2,000 in number, rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. Wow. Allah is in this story, but first of all, why did Jesus let them go? It is not specified, but we can deduct a few things here. One thing is that he wanted to show how wicked these spirits are. They killed 2,000 pigs and then went on their way without any punishment. People get all sorts of ideas. World religions are full of these ideas, such things as how do you deal with the demons, how do you tame them, how do you work with them, and what their purpose is. Basically, throughout history, there's plenty of crazy people who think they are mighty and found out that they are not. This serves as a warning sign to those who are contemplating about those kind of ideas. Let me make it clear. You cannot handle demons or control them. They're much stronger than any human being. Second thing we can deduct is no matter how wicked someone is, God's mercy is greater. And we see how Jesus showed that mercy to these wicked demons. But only for a time. Time is coming and is near. But more importantly, it is near to all of us. Where do you stand? This demon-possessed man, after being freed, understood that Jesus was the answer. As the story shows, as Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon-possessed begged to go with him. Jesus did not let him, but said, go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has shown you mercy. I leave you with this final thought. Do you need God's mercy in your life? If you do, go to Him and beg Him to show you mercy and I guarantee you that mercy will be given to you. But not for long, for the day of judgment is coming and is near. Blessings.